Hello, this is part two of the video to help you with the levers investigation in Engineering 2. We left off um, measuring those distances, the resistance right here, distance to the effort on the other side, and they came out about equal. So this is about at the midpoint. So your, your ideal mechanical advantage should be really close to one. It should be 0.9 something or 1.0 something or 1.1, somewhere in that area, and you did it right. So these are the values I got. Yours doesn't have to match exactly, depending on where you measured in on shape. So I got 1.01 approximately for the IMA. And when I did the bottom part, I put in one kilogram for the force of resistance. I replaced those values for different distance the effort, the distance resistance by the top. I multiplied distance of the resistance times force of the resistance. I divided by distance of effort, and I got about 0.99 kilograms for my force of the effort. And you can leave your answer as that, or it should be close to that. Now let's do number 9, 10, and 11 to wrap this up. We go back to our course, and these all need to be on a Google Doc or um, on a piece of paper, so you can submit this on Schoology. When you watch this video, it's gonna it's pretending like it's pulling down. So on the lever, the weight is moving up and the force sensor is moving down and it's calculating the force it requires, the maximum force it requires to move that weight. And that will be the force of the effort that you use in this case. So that force, when you watch the video, is 9.932 newtons. So now we have that one kilogram force of the resistance that we have to convert to newtons. Please just Google search that you should end up with 9.80665, and I'm gonna use those entire digits just to get a more accurate answer at the end. So that's the number that you're gonna use for one kilogram in terms of Newtons. To calculate the actual mechanical advantage, then you're gonna calculate efficiency. So if you want, you can pause the video now before you sh I show you my answers, and you can work it out. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you my answers if you're ready. You don't have to have these exact answers. You should have something relatively close though. So force the resistance of 9.80665, actually for number 10, you should have the exact same answer because you were using the exact same numbers. And then the force of the effort from that graph was 9.932. When you divide, you get about 0.987. I'm gonna use those three digits rounded. Then we're going to calculate the efficiency, AMA divided by IMA times 100. It worked out because our AMA should be less than the IMA, but they're really close to the same value. They're really both really close to 1. And then you get about 97.7% efficiency. What you're going to do, end up doing for the rest of the questions that follow, you're going to do this exact same process. For all those other questions, they're just gonna be different lever types. Well, you're still gonna work on first class for um, the first portion, but then you're gonna get to the second and third class levers as well. Please let me know if you have any additional questions. Hopefully these videos help tremendously on working with Onshape and going through these calculations.